In engineering and manufacturing, an ECO refers to the formal process for documenting and implementing change to a product design, components, or manufacturing processes. So uh, let's get into the manufacturing module. And let's see, we are going to manage with the products as the breakfast cereal. So we know in order to manufacture this product, breakfast cereal, we need different components such as food flavor, rice, sugar, wheat, and oats. So let's get into the main product, which is breakfast cereal. And you can see the product right now. And we need to create a bill of material for this product. So which I have linked already here. And let's see, uh, you can see the product name was given as breakfast cereal. And you can see the reference is set to ECU. And we will be choosing the BOM type as manufacture this product. And you can see that we have different components with its quantity as mentioned here, uh, which is food flavor, rice, sugar, wheat, and oats. And we know that operations in food manufacturing involves a series of processes that transform the raw ingredients into finished products uh, and ready for distribution and consumption. These operations are crucial for ensuring the safety, quality, and consistency of food products. So here are some operations in the food manufacturing. So when you just dive into the operations, you can see ingredients and sourcing. I mean, ingredient sourcing and inspecting, pre-processing, mixing and blending, cooking or heating, forming and shaping, and packing. So here, uh, the ingredient sourcing and inspecting, under this, the raw materials are sourced from the suppliers and each batch is inspected for quality and safety and uh, compliance with regulatory standards and this step is critical to prevent contaminated or substandard ingredients from entering the production process. And you can see we have a set uh, a work center for this operation as inspection center. And we have already given all the durations of these operations and the employee capacity and everything. Now let's back to the other operation that is pre-processing. Ingredients may require cleaning, sorting, peeling or other pre-processing step to remove impurities and prepare them for further processing. So in order to pre-process uh, the manufacturing or the raw materials, that would be done under the work center pre-processing center. Now under mixing and blending, ingredients are mixed in a precise proportion to create a uniform mixture and this is common in production like sauce, dressing and baked goods. So let's go to the other operation right now, which is cooking or heating. Depending on the product, cooking or heating process are used to achieve specific textures, flavors and safety requirement. And this can include methods like baking, boiling, frying or steaming. Okay, and you can just move on to the other operation, which is forming and shaping under forming and shaping fo uh, foods like snacks candies and uh, processed meat often undergo shaping or processed to create desired forms such as molding or cutting okay and after forming and shaping of the uh, product that is uh, cereal uh, we will be going to the baking operation so under the package uh, after processing uh, all these steps, food products are packed to protect them from contaminations, preserve freshness and provide important information to the consumer. So packaging can arrange from bottle and cans to flexible pouches and vacuum sealed packs. So here I will be changing the operation of packing from plastic packing or from cans or from tins to biodegradable. So that is your change will be discussed in this video. Now, let's go to the uh, operations and perform a manufacturing order for this. So you can just go to the manufacturing orders and you can create a new manufacturing order for this product, which is breakfast cereal. So I'm going to choose my product or bill of material. So as I have choose a bill of material, all other components and details will be automatically configured under this. Now you can save the manufacturing order and you can just confirm the manufacturing order. And you can see that under the work orders, you would be able to see all the operations with its work center, product and everything. 
So you can see that the first operation is right now ready. So we are going to uh, start all the operations. So you can just go to the tablet view and you can see that, uh, yeah, currently the uh, process is running. Uh, and when you just go to the hamburger icon, you can see that we can either block this or can scrap the item. Or if you want to add a component, you can do so. Or if you want to add a byproduct, you can add that. We can make a maintenance request and we can make a quality alert. Or we can add a, a worksheet improvement, uh, like adding a step uh, to improve the ECO or to show the ECO. So currently, I'm not making any change for these steps. So I'm clicking it as mark as done. And you can see that currently that stage is ready or that work order is ready. Uh, and you can just remove that and let's back uh, to the operations and choose your work center. I mean, uh, manufacturing orders. And you can see that this manufacturing order is currently in its running uh, in progress state. And let me uh, finish all other uh, work orders. So we can just click on start. And once the uh, yeah process is complete, you can just click on done. So I will be uh, yeah, going with all the work orders except for packing. Now, let's go to the um, yeah tablet view of packing. And you can see that I will be going to the hamburger uh, icon. And I will be adding a step. That step, you can give the title of uh, the step. So you can pack the materials with biodegradable uh, I mean, uh, package. OK, so we know that. Uh, the plastic materials packing would cause pollution to the environment. So in such cases, we are going to change the packing from non-biodegradable to biodegradable. So I will be choosing biodegradable, uh, I mean biodegradable packing uh, as my uh, title. And you can set the instruction over here. Okay, and if you want to upload any documents over here, you can set that and you can just click on propose change. So we are going to change uh, the, uh, I mean, work order uh, that is packing to another operation. That is, in this operation, we'll be using biodegradable package. And uh, you can click on next. And you can see we have done, and you can just click it as mark as done. And everything is set now. It's back to the manufacturing order. And finally, uh, it's about to close. Um, now you can just click it as mark as done. So before that, let me go to the PLM. And when you just dive into the PLM module, you can see we have an engineering change over here. And you can see uh, the packing has changed and you can choose that. So once you choose the packing, you can see uh, the operations uh, changes will be visible under the operation changes tab. And we have made an ECO change for packing and second version will be using for this. And you can see the instruction as well as the uh, packing is the work center. And uh, when you just go to the revision, which is version two, you can see the first, uh, I mean, the first uh, operation will be uh, in its archive state because uh, we won't be using the packing with the teens or non-biodegradable uh, materials for packing the food items. Instead of that, we will be using packing with degradable items. So uh, now you can just dive into the manufacturing module and you can just uh, continue the process of manufacturing. So let's close the manufacturing order by clicking as mark as done. So it is simple and easy uh, to make an ECO change in O216 manufacturing. So under traceability, now you can view the stock movement and you can get all other details such as the product movement uh, and you can see the valuations over here with its price, uh, unit value and moved quantity. And you can also get the cost analysis of the product here. So everything is uh, shown here. 
So this is how we manage with the ECU change in manufacturing module. Hope this video was very worthful for you and thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.